2.1, atoms contain protons, neutrons, and electrons. Well, there's a simple animation of an atom. Protons can be found right in the middle of atoms, and you'll also find the neutrons there too. And together, protons and neutrons are known as nucleons. And that central, high density, high positive charge, but very small region is called the nucleus. Electrons are in orbit around the nucleus in the atom. Now that's a simple diagram, more complicated ones later on will explain the details. Turning to table four in the data booklet, uh, you'll see this table. Please don't sue me, IB. It's fair use. Now I'm going to make it in a more amenable form. I've taken away some of those sig figs. See that the mass of the proton and the neutron are essentially the same, but the electron, well, that's a lot lighter. So let's work out just how much lighter the electron is compared to the proton. A quick bit of maths. So that means if I had 1,836 electrons, it would have the mass of a proton. Now these numbers are really very different from the ones you probably saw before, so we're going to look at their relative masses. Let's say a proton has a mass of 1, and you know what? We can assume a neutron also has a mass of 1, since it was so close. An electron, well, the IB doesn't care if you say it has a mass of 0, 1 over 1836, or in the syllabus it says negligible. Don't forget, you can't say the mass of an electron is small. They're all small. So those masses are in atomic mass units. Looking at the charge, you'll notice that the charge on a proton is equal and opposite to that of the charge on an electron. And then a neutron is zero. So again, let's look at the relative nature of them. If we assume that a proton has a plus one charge, then the electron, we're going to say relatively, has a minus one charge. And you don't need to know the units for that. 